I feel like it's more storytelling I want to do about slackness. So as I mentioned, there were two main sets of sessions and um, for recording. And then I went away, like, and then Vic finished, he did some additional overdubs of a lot of percussion stuff, a little singing, I think, and some guitar, probably, and did the mixing. And I wasn't there for that. So I heard the finished tracks for the first time when they were finished. And um, I love them, I gotta say. But there were things that I hadn't imagined that I was hearing for the first time. And again, it was like a really special experience to have said, okay, well, you got my parts, it's all you need. Okay, go for it. And uh, then to hear his interpretation and production of that stuff, it was really great. So the two sessions happened at different studios. The first set happened um, at the house in Westchester I was talking about before with Dangerous Hearts. And the second set of sessions happened at Version City, which Jeff Baker, Django had moved that studio from the cellar in Manhattan to a place in Jersey, where it is still. And so it was in the new Version City, the second set of uh, rhythm sessions were happening. And as well, in between the, uh, the time of those two sessions, Alan Taboul, who I just played a, a Zoom 50th birthday party for a few days ago, he was the drummer and he, he'd been with Slackers, I'm gonna guess, two or three years. Um, and he had left the group and Ara, who's playing still, had entered the group. So there were two different studios and two different drummers as well. And I think, so in the first set of sessions, TJ was there for some, at least one of the days, the original guitarist. And I'm, I think in the second set of sessions, I was the only person playing guitar in the session. I don't know for sure, but Jay probably had uh, come in and uh, TJ left by that time. So there were a couple personnel changes. Uh, Mush was gone from the first era band and Glenn was in. So, so there were a few changes. Uh, I guess Glenn was in the whole time, but Mush was in at the same time and had left. So anyway, that's just like some backstory that I wanted to share about what's what's up with these tracks. So that being said, if, if a person listens with a careful ear, it can be pretty clear from the sound of the tracks which ones were recorded in the same studio with the same crew. There's a different tonal aspect to the sonic attitude of the tracks. One and... Uh, some, the first session was done on analog and the second session was done all digital. So different parameters made a different sound, but somehow it all came together in a, a way that really works. And I think that those changes resulted in a diversity that couldn't have been uh, aimed for. It just happened by, by natural circumstance. So a lot of happy accidents with this uh, project.